Did I see I was named in a lawsuit? That's so hype. Which lawsuit? What lawsuit? Give me the details. Now I'm excited. It's on LSF. Me being named in a lawsuit's on LSF. I haven't checked it today, really. Oh, let's go! Wait, this is huge! It's about board apes! I was named in a board ape lawsuit? Let's go! An NFT lawsuit court filing? What? Streamers, YouTube is also critical of Yuga are named in our counter filing? What the fuck is this? Hold on, let me find that original. Uh, what was that Twitter account? Can't read it, it's too pixely. Oh, well, I could have just done that. Polly. Where? Where's the tweet? I don't see that. Oh, here we go. This is part of it. Declaratory judgment asking court to declare Board Ape Yacht Club images are not entitled to copyright protection due to the Board Ape Yacht Club images having been generated by an automated computer algorithm where no humans were involved in determining which of the 10,000 Board Ape Yacht Club images were selected. Okay. I mean, that sounds reasonable. But what does this have to do with me? That's all wonderful. I love the smell of roses and all that, but what does it have to do with me? Where am I at? Yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here's the full one. Okay. Let's take a peek. Looks like Charles is making his debut in court, and it's against NFTs. Let's go, okay. So they're going after, or this is a countersuit against Ryder Rips, I believe. Streamers slash YouTubers critical of Yuga are named in the counterfiling. Okay. Wow, this guy is getting laughed at. Okay, let's see. Man, fuck all this legal jargon. Control F, here I come. Did they name me as Moist? Let's go! I only have one mention in here. I only have one credit. Unlucky. But at least this time I didn't I didn't get shafted like the Hunger Games. I'll take that. Also, a slight nitpick here for the lawyer that drafted this. You didn't do the alternating caps in Critical. I could claim that's not me because the caps are all fucked up. That's not how I stylize it. Okay. The public protest against Yuga led to the hashtag Burn Board Ape Yacht Club movement, spearheaded by popular YouTuber Fillion, but also covered by XQC, H3H3, Moist Critical, Vosh, and Hassan Piker. I mean, covered's a very strong word. If you mean getting informed on what Fillion made a video about, I suppose. Social media influencers and celebrity YouTubers have been using the board ape, Burn Board Ape Yacht Club hashtag. I didn't. I don't do hashtags. Which began trending the same week as RR Board Ape Yacht Club collections sold out. The question of whether Board Ape Yacht Club is racist has become a viral debate, and mainstream newspapers reported that hashtag burn Board Ape Yacht Club is public opinion storm and too large to ignore. As a result, Mr. Rips and Mr. Cahan's work is today described as being pretty brilliant from an artistic point of view. I don't... What the fuck is it even about? What is it? So, uh, they're just citing me in here. They're not even... They're not even coming after me. I've never been so fucking offended in all my life. Why cite me if you're not gonna try and, s and slap me around legally? Alright, no court, I guess. The suit's gonna have to wait. God damn it. It's like when Mr. Incredible hangs up his suit one last time. Unlucky. Not today, good friend. There's a resub poo poo in the prime. Carbon vibes. Lovely. 
Dangly, Hide, Goat, and Dextry. And the resub films do Forced, Bryphage, Brogurt, Ninja, Sinpai, Bastard, Overlord, Fluffy, Merchhouse, Bean, James, and the five gift subs Bagel. Hey, Bagel. What is this lawsuit even over? So they're clearly not coming after anyone that talked about them. Which is the impression I got. I thought they were going for like a defamation standpoint or something. They're not. So what is this about? Ryder Rips and Mr. Cahan deny that Forbes has described the Bored Ape NFTs as the epitome of coolness for many. What a fucking lame first sentence. The epitome of coolness... Jesus Christ, I'm so ashamed to even be named in here. Oh my, that is the most on-brand NFT shit I've seen in my fucking life. The epitome of coolness. Defendants admit that only 10,000 Bored Ape NFTs exist and each is entirely unique. Insofar as all NFTs created under the same standard, ERC721, are unique. Defendants deny that the ape images associated with Bored Ape NFTs are entirely unique. Defendants are without knowledge or information sufficient to form a belief as to the truth of remaining allegations in paragraph one of the complaint and therefore deny them. What? What am I, what am I not understanding? What is this? I don't even really get what the core issue is here. This is a counterclaim. You need to look at the original. I thought the original was defamation, but maybe I'm misinformed. Let me see. Uh, so Yuga Labs versus Rip. In June, Yuga Labs fired a suit in which they alleged that Rip's uh, Bored Apes conceptual art NFT collection had misused Bored Ape Yacht Club's trademark to mislead buyers and devalue their brand. Okay, so it was Yuga Labs that threw the first stone, <clears throat> and this is the counterclaim. Gotcha. So Ryder Rips, you might remember from Fillion's video. So he had NFT or uh, Bored Ape like things. And it looks like they're coming after him for copyright infringement. So then the whole case hinges on this fact that you need to prove or you need to argue whether or not you can copyright AI generated images, algorithm generated images. That's what it's going to come down to. Is that right? Is that the core here? Can't have a copyright on something not made by a person. Well, yeah, right. Which is why they'd have to argue that you can as I understand it. I'm not saying they're going to win. I, I feel like they have legitimately no chance of winning. You, it makes no sense that you could copyright an algorithm-generated image. That's a bunch of baloney. That's a fat load of dirty barnacles. I'm just trying to understand what, like, what this case is even about. Yuga filed a lawsuit against Rips before the Central District of California over the sale of alleged copycat NFTs. And a consumer scam related to Bored Ape NFTs. Yeah. I don't know why they were saying Rips was the one that started it. No, Yuga Labs filed this suit. So now this this is the counterclaim. Which means this is now Rip countering Bored Ape. Right? This is also from Yuga? Why would they counterclaim themselves? Huh? Oh, I was named in this court case, so I thought I'd have to defend myself, but unfortunately not. It says on the right it's from Rip's team. Well, yeah, but why does chat keep saying that this is also from Yuga? Like, is there something I'm not understanding? Or is chat just way off the mark again? You're not one of the listed parties, so you're okay? I, I know, I thought I was. Which would have been exciting, but I'm not. I'm just cited down here. Which sucks. Just a little footnote. Oh god, oh no, it's not even just the alternating caps they got wrong. You're right, chat. They used a one and an I. Oh, oh, oh. They've made a mockery of the legal system. That's not me at all. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Jesus Christ.
This is not a Better Call Saul moment at all. They butchered it. Sue them for misspelling your name? Hey, I just might. Depends on who did it, though. I, I mean, since this is coming from the Rips team, I'm rooting for Rips against Yuga. Fuck Bored Apes. But if this was Yuga, I'd be looking for any angle to come after them. It'd be like a hungry dog looking at a steak. So is this actually going to get a jury? So they've asked for a jury. A jury trial. This would be great. And then I hope they mention me again. In fact, call me to the stand. What does Charles think about all this? What's this about? Board Ape versus Rider Rips. Would you go? It'd be for like two minutes on the stand. Yeah, but that two minutes would lead to, like, 45 minutes worth of content. I do little practice sessions on stream in my suit and tie giving my statement, my testimonial. I'd work on fake crying. It'd be the whole nine. That'd be the most dramatic court appearance you'd ever seen. No, I'm not getting sued. I was just cited in this lawsuit. I got really excited when I read that headline on LSF, though, about us being named in a court filing. But I thought we were going to be one of the mentioned parties that's uh, put on the iron, but unfortunately not. This is just used as kind of like a uh, supplementary thing. Oh, it's about the Philly and video, Owen. Well, that's what really started most of it. What do you mean? How is it, how is it surprising they didn't fuck up XQC's name? It's three letters. I'd be shocked if they fucked his name up. No, I think there's a chance this goes to jury. I'm saying that with confidence, knowing absolutely nothing about this fucking case and only just now being made aware of it. But I feel confident that it's going to go into the jury. They'll make it to court. They'll make it to an actual trial. That's my prediction.